Hello everyone. In this video, we will look at the load ext magic function. So in this function, we are loading the SQL module. And once we've loaded the SQL module, we connect to the SQL Lite database. So we can connect to any database which is uh, which we can connect to or which is supported by SQL Alchemy. You can have a look at the databases supported by SQL Alchemy. Uh, the code might be different for different databases. Here we are just trying to connect to SQL Lite, and then uh, we uh, create a table called cartoons and then we just run it. So we'll go through this and I will put this code in the video notes so you can run the code and uh, experiment with it yourself. And let's look at the top one. Before we load a module, it needs to be installed. So we are basically installing the IPython SQL module here. Then we are loading SQL using the load ext SQL magic function. Then we are connecting to SQL Lite, and then using the SQL magic function, we are uh, creating a table and then uh, running uh, a select on that table. So let's start. So the first one is we'll just load the module. So once we've uh, loaded this. I had already installed this, so most of the stuff it's saying that the requirement is already satisfied. If you run it for the first time, it will do the installation. Now I will load the SQL module, so I'll run this. It goes to the next one. We will connect to SQL Lite. So I will uh, again type shift and enter. So you can say this, see that it is connecting to none, which is a SQL Lite script, uh, shell. And now I've got the SQL, so I'm typing the SQL magic function and then I'm creating the table, inserting, inserting and select. So I'll just run this now. And you can see here, it says that it's inserted one row, it's inserted and then it's done a select on that. So in this video, we learned uh, how to load the SQL uh, module using the load ext uh, magic function. You can load other modules as well. Then we connect it to the SQL Lite database. Uh, you can connect to all the databases which are supported by SQL Alchemy. And then we've uh, written some of our SQL statements. So we've uh, executed some SQL commands through Jup while we are in Jupyter Notebooks. So I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel if you enjoy what I'm doing. Thank you.